How's it going guys? It's your boy Reyes back at it with another video. So today we're gonna be talking about my cat eye and um today's video is just gonna be about how it's drive what is it what it's like driving a camp truck. So as you guys know I have a 5.3 uh 2006 uh Silverado. It's uh cammed and um I I just want to talk about you know the pros, cons, the experiences that I've had with it, how it what it's like driving, what you might have to upgrade, stuff like that, just so you guys can get an idea like if you ever want to cam your truck. So, like, hopefully this video can help you out, and, you know, what to expect after camming your truck and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and talk about that a little bit. And then I'm going to roll in a, a cold start clip so you guys can hear the truck. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's just going to be a pretty, pretty chill video. So, um, let's go ahead and get started with it. So, here it is, my cat eye again. So, like I said, it's a 5.3. It is cammed. Um, I have a 223-226 uh, Texas Speed Cam Kit. It came with the hardened push rods and double springs. The shop that did all the work was um, RM Tuning. I don't know if you guys are uh, familiar with that shop. They're here in Houston, Texas. But um, yeah, RM Tuning. They mostly specialize on uh, fifth gens. But I decided to take it with them. I don't know. I just uh, that's probably like, I think they were one of the shops that gave me the best price, and uh, I kind of trusted them with it. And I mean, it went well. So yeah, um, I'm going to two years already with the cam and the mortar, and I have not had any issues. Surprisingly, I don't know when I first cammed out. Thought you know, man, like I'm gonna be cammed. I think I'm gonna have issues something's gonna mess up this and that surprisingly no i haven't had any issues at all with the motor at all the only thing that i have had issues with was the uh, transmission so as you guys know these trucks come with a 4060 transmission and they're horrible they're trash i mean i mean after camming if you want to do performance work they're just not good like 4060s are not good if you're a completely stock truck yeah it's fine but even like even if it's stock and you decide to you know dog the shit out of it or you know swing it and do burnouts and stuff it's gonna go out eventually it's gonna go out but um yeah so i did have a 4060 it went out on me twice the first time it went out on me i believe it was because i used to swing this truck a lot and i used to do a lot of burnouts and racing blah 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 just dogging it a lot and uh, yeah so my transmission went out for the first time what had happened was i think i was on my way to my girlfriend's house to pick her up and while i was on my way uh, I think I was like in a little bit of traffic and um, I was driving obviously I was in drive and I would press on the gas and I would just see uh, the truck rev up but the truck wasn't moving like it, it didn't catch a gear like it wasn't in any gear that's when I knew the transmission went out so I was able to get to her house and then I got it towed I took it to this transmission shop and I I wanted to save a few bucks so what I did I uh, did a stock rebuild on the truck and uh, well, obviously just, you know, I rebuilt it with stock uh, stock transmission parts again, basically OEM parts. And well, it, it went out again. So yeah, for these trucks, especially after a cam, it's, uh, I highly recommend you guys do a uh, built transmission and also get a stall, a torque converter. So right now my current setup is a 4065 trans, uh, I converted the 4060 to a, four, I've put a 4065 kit in it. And then I also got a 3600 uh, single disc uh, torque converter which i mean it helps it so much man i i can't explain it i mean it's um the feeling from going from a, a stock transmission to a built transmission with a torque converter the truck feels so much better it runs so much better it shifts a lot better you could just tell it holds the it holds the power a lot better and like you really get this full power out of it as well like you get you can you can feel the full potential of the motor if you do a stock, if you're with the stock transmission, you can like it's it's holding the it's holding back the the actual power that the cam wants to release. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. So, 4065 is probably your best bet right now. Um, like I said, it's a stage three, so we put we put the racing clutches, Corvette servo, all that other good stuff, uh, performance parts in the transmission. Like I said, I highly recommend getting a stall. I have a 3600. Anything from a 3200 to like a 4000 stall or something. I think that should be good. But uh, most people, I believe, do like 3200s, but that's also really good. But I decided to go like in the middle. I did 36, and uh, I highly recommend it. It works really great. It works really good. But, um, yeah, so that's my current setup right now. And uh, like I said, it drives great. I love it. And, um, yeah, so pros about being canned, I would say, number one, it sounds great. It sounds really good. It gives it that really uh, aggressive sound. It's, I mean, you could just... You'll hear a clip of the truck, but it sounds really nice. So I would say that's part of the pros. Uh, another thing of pros, I mean, it gives the truck some good power. Camming your truck, it gives it gives it power. You know, you can feel it after you uh, after you cam it. It's not the same as being uh, you know stock with just headers and tune. It definitely gives the truck more power. It moves. It screams. I mean, it's it's badass. Um, and then you just feel badass driving a cam truck. 
I mean, you don't really, you don't really, um, and it also catches a lot of people's attention, you know? Like, you don't, people don't really see camp trucks, or you don't hear camp trucks. It's mostly cars, but, yeah, that's what I would say about, um, pros. So, for cons on this truck, or, I mean, after camming your, uh, your truck, I'm just going to based off my experience, right? I don't really have that many cons. Uh, I would say, you know, it does waste a little, it does waste a good amount of gas uh, for a daily. You expect to be in the gas station a few times a week, you know, pumping gas. Um, I forgot to mention, I'm also tuned on 93. So if you're on 93 and you know that's, that's the most expensive gas right now, so yeah, it, it takes a little bit to fill up. But, um, and then, well, obviously it's cammed. It, uh, it kind of shakes. Uh, actually, yeah, if you're on a stock, stock transmission with no torque converter, then uh, expect the truck to turn off here and there. Like, uh, for example, like if you're, uh, let's say you go somewhere and you're parked for a little while and then you go, uh, you're about to leave, you get into the, into the truck and turn it on. When you turn it on, it's going to turn on good, you know, chop a little bit, but sometimes it's going to turn off. Uh, that's what I've, that's like I said, that's from my experience. That's what I've, uh, that's what I've experienced sometimes. Well, that's when I was uh, with a stock transmission, but, um, and then, uh, I mean, it's loud. I mean, I don't know if you want to take that as a pro or con. It's loud. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like if you have a uh, neighbors that are gonna be tripping and shit, that's uh, you could take that as a as a con. That's why I have a uh, that's why I have a cutout system because I can make it quiet and loud because I do have neighbors that uh, do be tripping about it. So that's another thing. But other than that, I mean, I don't really have that many uh, that many cons. I mean, like I said, uh, it's not my daily. It drives great. I haven't had any issues with it. Maybe if it was a daily and uh, you know I was to drive it every day for uh, long distances and stuff, then it would be a whole nother uh whole nother story but no i mean from my experience it drives great i don't have any and i don't have that many cons i don't have anything else to to really um critique about it if you want to say but yeah i mean i was i would highly re i mean i recommend getting cammed it's it's badass you feel like it's you feel like a whole badass driving a cam truck it sounds cool it screams but yeah that's what i that's what i think about it but another thing i want to talk about is the uh, rear end the differential um i have a stock rear end so you don't really have to upgrade it but it is pretty good to do so like maybe put like a like a yukon posse or eton true trek and then put some gears in it that way it can run a lot better but yeah my rear end is a uh, stock and i mean the truck drives good i mean it shifts good and everything and you know it's it picks up speed pretty good so i mean you don't really have to upgrade your uh, your rear end but you can do so in order for it to perform better but just in case you guys had like a like a doubt about that but yeah mine's a stock so rear end stock, transmission built, and then, uh, well, obviously the motor has is cammed with the hard and push rods, double springs, got the cold air intake, headers tuned with the MSD wires, and then I also have my throttle body ported. Uh, other than that, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. And then put your true cool so you can keep the transmission cool. But that's all about it, man. If you guys wanna do performance work, this is my setup. Works great. I love it. Uh, go ahead and do it. You won't regret it. It's badass. But um, if we move over to the uh, the single cab, I told you guys it was a V6, but um, here it is. I just wanted to show you guys. So once this motor does go out, I do plan on doing a swap. Uh, let me know in the comments what do you think we should put. A 4.8, 5.3, 6.0, or 6.2. Probably go bigger, go home. But yeah, um, I really want to see this V8 swap though. Since these trucks are lighter, it would be a lot faster than that crew cab. But yeah, it's a little V6, some light. Saves me hella gas. I'm not complaining. I love it. I think it fills up with like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. That other one fills up with like 90, 100 bucks. But, and that's here in Texas. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. What should we put in this whenever it goes out? I'm trying to make it look nice. I'm trying to make it sound good. Cam as well. Uh, get a build transmission as well. Get all that good stuff. I mean, right now, I mean, obviously it's not worth doing any performance where it gets a V6. There's nothing really to do. But, um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But right now, I'm going to roll a clip of the uh, crew cab. Um, I'm going to do a cold start so you guys can hear it. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that for right now.
this video today. Uh, like I said, it was just a chill video, just so you guys can uh, see what uh, see like the experiences that I've had with the with ha owning the camp truck, the 5.3, the Kerai. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got a you know, at least I hope you guys know what to expect if you do camp your truck. Um, and uh, I mean, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the um, in the comments down below. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, like I said, comment, whatever, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know what kind of other videos you guys want to see. And um, yeah, on that co-star clip, it, video does no justice, man. This thing sounds a lot louder in person. But um, yeah, I guess we're going to catch you guys on the next video. You guys stay safe and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.